Joe Rodriguez arrived at court flanked by his lawyers. He sat in the gallery quietly during proceedings, facing the music for the October 1971 events. Timor plunged to his death from the 10th floor window of then John Foster Square police station. In a brief court session, the defense said it was not prepared for the pre-trial conference as it just recently received documents relating to the 47-year-old case, much to the dismay of the Timor family. Every day passes on. The chances of Rodriguez leaving this world and without us getting closure is a better reminder that, you know, that the state needs to move with speed to ensure that Rodriguez gets his day in court. The defense asked for permanent stay of prosecution. The apartheid perpetrators had no mercy when they killed young anti-apartheid activists. So why should we have mercy on an 80-year-old who's still healthy, who remains intact as to what had transpired in room 1026 on the 27th of October. So we're interesting to see, you know, what argument will be portrayed by his legal team. He committed perjury and he has refused to tell the truth. And one of the conditions of the remedies of the Truth Commission was that you have full disclosure of the truth. And that's what these people refuse to do year after year, even when that is the only remedy that victims need. The pre-trial conference is expected to clarify what is going to be in dispute and how many witnesses will take the stand. This will take place on the 15th of October. Marikei Damklabe, SABC News at the Johannesburg High Court.